It's John Pollock along with Jimmy Corderas, and we're chatting about one of the best WWE pay-per-views they've ever presented. Sunday night, it was Money in the Bank from the Allstate Arena in Chicago, Illinois, a city you've worked in front of many, many times, Jimmy, and this notoriously one of the best cities for the company. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're always off the chain in Chicago, but uh, on Sunday night, it was absolutely ludicrous what was going on in Chicago. Let's talk about the main event because that's what everyone wants to chat about. CM Punk, who was one level above a god in Chicago on Sunday night, coming out to a complete babyface reaction, defeating John Cena, and the finish here involved Vince McMahon and even John Laurinaitis, uh, where John Cena got to do what a lot of talent probably wants to do, and that was Deck Laurinaitis by ringside and then it led to the GTS finish and Punk leaving with the belt. Yeah, absolutely. A little bit shocked that it was such a clean finish. I was expecting a little bit of shenanigans to go on, but hey, you know what? The crowd ate it up. Uh, CM Punk pretty much worked as a babyface throughout the entire match. They both did. Uh, I'm just curious to see where it goes from here. After the match, they teased Alberto Del Rio cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase. He came out, but then took a kick from Punk, and then Punk ran through the audience. And this leaves so many options open for the company now of where they go. I can't possibly see SummerSlam going on without Punk involved right now as the hottest guy in wrestling right yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like you said, there's so many directions they can go, and you can you know analyze this until the cows come home. But trying to figure out where they're going to go with this, impossible right now. Now, in terms of the Money in the Bank ladder matches, we mentioned Del Rio winning the Raw side, which I think was a predictable pick going in for a lot of people, and I think the right choice to make as well. Yeah, uh, Del Rio needed his uh, next step, and this is his next step into the main event picture and possibly a uh, title reign. We also teased a, a Miz babyface turn in that matchup as well, with uh, him injuring the knee and then coming back and the Chicago trip crowd even turning on Rey Mysterio there. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, they were cheering Alberto Del Rio. They cheered The Miz. They booed Rey Mysterio. Amazing. Over on the SmackDown side, a real surprise here. Daniel Bryan gets the briefcase. I'm actually surprised they pulled the trigger with Daniel Bryan. I'm happy for Daniel Bryan, but I don't know if they've invested enough time in Daniel Bryan for him to have the money in the bank right now. And let's not forget this excellent pay-per-view featuring Kelly Kelly defeating Brie Bella. This match was horrible. Well, you know what? Not even that could bring me down. It was money in the bank, everyone. Two solid thumbs up, and the WWE returns to pay-per-view with SummerSlam August the 14th.